Good evening. When the Department of Justice found a pattern of excessive force within Albuquerque's police department, they forced APD to rewrite its use of force policy. Now the police department is changing those rules again. News 13's Chris McKee explains. Dean and Jess, APD presented this new use of force policy to the police oversight board tonight for the first time taking public comments on the policy as well before adopting it. Many say this new policy emphasizes de-escalation and let him know that he needs to back up. The APD officer retraining seen here started in 2016 under a rewritten use of force policy. But now two years later, it's a little bit confusing and it's proved to be confusing for police officers. Under new department leadership, APD has completely rewritten its officers use of force policy again. To make this clear, concise and directive. The policy presented tonight for public comment at a police oversight board meeting. It's a different tone for APD as the Barry administration first skipped that public process years ago. We want to incorporate the collaborative effort from everybody in this. APD says the goal of the rewrite is not only clarifying, but placing a different emphasis on how officers use force. The current policy tells officers, what can I do to use force in this situation? And this policy directs officers, what can I do to de-escalate or minim minimize or, lim or uh, reduce or eliminate the need to use force? Some community stakeholders say, We applaud the APD. They notice the difference APD is outlining. Especially me as a, a disability rights advocate, appreciate the many references in the policy that emphasize de-escalation as the first requirement. While the policy has a long list of approvals to get through before it takes effect, some think the proposed changes are a positive start. Seems like a real step in the right direction to me. Now, alongside a lot of the members of the public tonight who made the suggestions, the police union is also suggesting a lot of changes to this policy with concerns surrounding definition of terms like reasonable and minimum in the policy. It'll still likely be months, though, before this policy is finalized. Dean? All right, Chris, thank you. After this policy is accepted, the city will have to retrain officers in the classroom and with virtual reality tools.